Hi there, how has your week been? Whatever it's been like, I want to assure you the best is yet to come. I want to share some thoughts, you know, very quickly along the lines of divine protection. As we know, you know, there is a pandemic, you know, all across the globe. It's hitting every country. We're praying and things are going to end quickly and surely as, as the Lord lead it. But I wanted to just share some thoughts around how do we stay safe in this time? People in scripture have been in this kind of times before, you know, of a different scale, no doubt, but they have been in times when they needed to be protected. And one of such people was Moses. There was a time when they were in the wilderness, there were all sorts of dangers right, left, and center, and, and everywhere, you know, and Moses in this time wrote Psalm 91. And I want to share some thoughts from the very, very first verse. And this is what it says, I read from New King James Version. He who dwells in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I want to just stay with that word dwell and talk about that for a few seconds. When he says he who dwells in the sacred place, it's not a place that you visit periodically. It's a place where you live. It's a place where you settle. In fact, that word dwell means to sit down, you know, like settle, just like where I am right now. You know, uh, it means to recline and rest and stay in a place. Dwelling in the sacred place is staying in a place of proximity to God, a place of fellowship with God, a place of intimacy with God, that you're so close to Him, nothing can come closer. You're so close to Him, nothing can shake you. It's like what David described in Psalm 16 verse 8 when he says, I have set the Lord before me. He's at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Was David in situations that could make him fearful? Yes. Was David in situations that were extremely dangerous? Yes. There were times when he looked like he could die anytime. But what kept David was setting the Lord always before him. It's a consciousness you carry of God everywhere you go. You don't have to be more conscious of a pandemic or a virus more than you are of God. No. You know, you carry that awareness of God. You carry, it, you carry it subliminally in your consciousness. You go about your work, yeah, you're working from home, great. But as you're pounding the keys and doing what you're doing, you're thinking about the Lord. You're setting Him before you in your consciousness. You're dwelling in the sacred place. You're living in His presence. Now, I'm not talking about, oh, you have to pray 10 hours. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about living in that consciousness, that awareness of God, living in that place of proximity to, in, 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 to His presence. And it's not somewhere you visit once in a while, you leave there. You know, the same Moses was saying, God, you've been our dwelling place in, in all generations. And when you live in that awareness, you know, what happens is you begin to abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You begin to stay in a place that is so high up, sacred place of the Most High, that no evil can touch you, no plague can come near your dwelling. And you live in that consciousness of us one and two, then you find yourself saying, the Lord is my refuge and my fortress. In Him I will trust. You find yourself saying, no evil will befall me, no plague will come near my dwelling. My word to you today is dwell. Dwell in the sacred place of the Most High. Use this time to get closer to God. Use this time to know your God better. Use this time to be in fellowship in that place of unison with the Lord. And like Jesus said, and John 15, 7, if you abide in me, stay in that place of proximity, and my words abide in you, you ask what you will, and it will be done. In this times, do these things, and it will make all the difference in your life. God bless you, praying for you, that you'll be safe, you'll continue to be well with you, continue to wash, continue to pray. God bless you.